Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We need to solve this interesting equation with 8's power and of course I'm going to show you how can we do this easily. First of all I see that from here we can easily factor out x square from easily from here we easily can factor x to the fourth power but i want to suggest you to factor out x to the fifth power so if you factor out x to the fifth power so x to the fifth we will have right here so and in parentheses we'll have x cube and of course plus one over x cube equal to one and of course our denominator we did do the same so x to the fifth power and in parentheses we will have x plus 1 over x. So I hope you understand this step. We just factor factor in out x to the fifth power. So we factor out x to the fifth power from here and from here x to the fifth power we factor out. What we're going to do next of course we can easily cancel cancel this x to the fifth power and we'll have our equation x x cube plus 1 over x cube and in our denominator we will have x plus 1 over x equal to 1. So I hope you understand this step. What we're going to do next? Take a look. This nominator and denominator is on the first side. This is this looks like the same. And that's how it is. If we write that x plus 1 over x, for example, will be equal to y. So this is our y, for example. So x plus 1 over x equal to equal to y. This is our this is our substitution, but right here we have the third power. So we need to get step by step to this third power to substitute it. But first of all, let's raise this to the second power. So we will have that our x square, x square plus one over x square plus two equal to y square. So if we're talking about square, x square plus one over x square equal to y square minus minus two so we just bring these two on the right hand side but this is the second power this is square but we need the third power how do we get the third power take a look if you multiply if you multiply right here if you multiply x plus one over x times x square plus one over x square so if you multiply it we will have that our x cube plus 1 over x plus x and plus 1 over x cube. If we simplify this a little bit, so we multiply these parentheses. If we simplify this a little bit, we will have that our x cube, x cube plus 1 over x cube. We group these, these two elements and we will have plus x plus 1 over x. So we group x cube and 1 over x cube these elements we group it and right here we group these these two elements as well so i hope you you understand this this step and of course this is equal to y times y square minus 2 because we're multiplying this is equal to y and this is y square minus 2 this is y square minus 2 and take a look if we multiply it we will have that our this element is equal to y this is equal to y and what we will have as a result we will have as a result that our x cube plus 1 over x cube is equal to y times y square minus 2 and we subtract this y from here so minus y so we find our our cube right here so our expression with cube equal to this using using y or if we, if we simplify this, we will have y cube minus 3y. So what we will have as a result? So this expression y cube minus 3y equal to x plus 1 over x cube, which is equal to this denominator. And the denominator, of course, we will have equal to y. So what equation we will have? y cube minus 3y. This is our, in our denominator. And in our denominator, we will have only our y equal to 1. How can we solve it? Of course, multiplying by y both parts, we will have that our y cube minus 3y equal to equal to y. Dividing, of course, by or not dividing, we can easily bring this to our left hand side. We will have y cube minus 4y equal to 0. And from here, factoring, 
y and we will have y and y square minus 4 equal to 0. So from here, as you can see, we will find three roots, so three values of y. The first one, y is equal to 0. The second one, y is equal to plus minus 4. So this is our three roots with 0 and plus minus 4. So as a result, we will have 0 and plus minus 4 and we will have x's, of course, because y is equal to x plus 1 over x. So let's solve it right here. So we will have that our first y equal to 0. So if y equal to 0, then x plus 1 over x, x plus 1 over x equal to 0. And how can you solve it? We will have x square plus 1 equal to 0, x square equal to minus 1, and of course x is equal to plus minus i. This is our first pairs of roots when y is equal to 0. Let's go next, y equal to 2 and minus 2. So when y equal to, for example, 2, we will have that our x plus 1 over x equal to 2. So multiplying by x, we will have quadratic equation x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. And this is a classic formula, because this is a formula x minus 1 square equal to 0. So we can easily find from here our, our solution that our x is equal to is equal to 1. And this is our second root. Or well, not second, this is our third and fourth root. And of course if y, the third case, if y, if y is equal to minus 2, we will have the next, we will have quadratic equation x squared plus 2x plus 2x and plus 1 equal to 0 and from here x plus 1 square equal to 0 and from here x is equal to minus 1 and this is our third or fifth and sixth fifth and sixth root so as you can see this is our first root this is our second pairs and this is our third pairs of solution. So what do you think about this, this approach? Write your, write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment, and of course subscribe for more videos if you enjoy it, I really appreciate it. And of course, thank you so much for watching. If you still have any question, write your question in comment about this solution, it will be written to read it. And thank you so much for watching, see you in the next videos.